Hi, this is Aud USD and today it's Thursday, 8th of August 2013 and the time is 14.35 GMT. We are looking at the 8-4 chart of the pair and we see a very strong bullish reversal. Um, uh, already the pair has gone above the long entry point uh, on the chart signal we gave but don't worry there is no emergency in Forex. So let's go and see uh, which are the mechanics behind this trade setup and how we can pinpoint our entry, our entry point using smaller time frames, using the smallest possible, M1, ideally M1. So we monitor the trade from H4, but we make sure that everything is bullish, 100% bullish on all smaller time frames. We are using Ichimoku Kinko here system and we are watching our main entry filter is Chiku Span, this Greek li uh, green line which uh, imitates price action. If we turn price action instead of candlesticks into a line, you'll see that the two lines are identical, okay? So it's only shifted in the past and we want this line to go straight up above the Kumo. It's not above the Kumo here because we don't have the bullish Kumo breakout happening yet. So uh, we want it ideally to go above past price action and above the Kumo. So let's go to the smaller time frames. We have this happening on H1 time frame. It goes straight up and see the leading edge, the edge of the leading Kumo, which is bullish with an upward slope, how sharp it is. It's sharp. We can cut our finger on it. Okay, keep that on your mind. Some um, visual uh, tricks help you with your setups. So we want the leading Kumo being bullish with its edge sharp pointing upwards. We want Chiku Span going straight up above the Kumo and above past price action. This happens on the H1 time frame. We go to M30. We want the leading Kumo being the edge being sharp pointing upwards and uh, so we can cut our finger in it but Chiku Span is turned downwards. We want to wait till it turns upwards, okay? So I go to M15. The same, Chiku Span is turned downwards. We wait. M5, Chiku Span is turned up downwards. We wait. M1, Chiku Span is just turned upwards. We can enter now. Now, we put our stop uh, 100 pips below our entry point and uh, we monitor the trend from H4 time frame. The bullish Kumo breakout on H4 time frame is just happening and it's very strong. Let's see the picture on daily time frame. Uh, on daily time frame everything looks uh, bearish yet but we see such big candlesticks and it means that um, the biases are rather bullish. We will see how long it can last. If we can have a bullish Kumo breakout on the daily time frame, then this is a very, very big move and it will drag the gold with it because Aoud is a commodity currency. Uh, Australian dollar is uh, going hand in hand with the gold, with the precious metal. So um, if we look at the gold, we'll see that we have uh, this is the H4 time frame for gold. You see that uh, on the daily chart gold is about to make uh, a bullish Kumo breakout and that would be huge. So keep your eye on the gold as well um, uh, because the Aoud USD is your, your uh, pair of reference for that. On the weekly time frame things are definitely bearish yet but we never know. Market uh, has the first and the last word, so we respect the market and we go with it. Thanks for watching and happy pips.